DNA double strand break, DSB, is one of the most dangerous forms of DNA damage. Unrepaired DSBs will lead cells to undergo apoptosis or senescence. On the other side, mis processing of DSBs will also result in genomic instability and carcinogenesis. Non homologous end joining, NHEJ, is one important pathway in eukaryotic cells responsible for the repair of DSBs. A lot of highly efficient DSB repair pathways are involved in eukaryotic cells, and among them, non homologous end joining, NHEJ, likely plays the largest role in DSB repair in humans. In addition, the NG pathway is also important for VDJ recombination during T and B cell lymphocyte development. The pathway has the potential to relegate any type of DNA ends. Unlike the other classically studied DSB repair mechanisms, such as homologous recombination, HR, NG does not require a homologous template for repair of DSB. Therefore, NG is not restricted to a certain phase of the cell cycle. However, NG lacks the participation of a homologous template strand, there is a mismatch in the repaired DNA damage, which in turn causes mutations in the genome. There are several steps of NG pathway. The initial step in NG is the recruiting WRN to the damaged sites. WRN is a helicase which generally unwinds and separates double-stranded DNA. These activities are necessary for double strands breaks repair. And then, the damaged site will recruit the recognition and binding of the Ku heterodimer to the DSB. The Ku heterodimer consists of Ku70 and Ku80. Ku70-80 has been shown to localize to laser-generated DSBs within seconds of their creation. There are some crystallographic studies of Ku70-80 showing that the heterodimer produces a ring-shaped structure, which can accommodate a double-strand DNA helix and allows the Ku heterodimer to slide onto the DNA damage site. Once the heterodimer is bound to the DSB ends, it then serves as a scaffold to recruit DNA PKCS to the damage site. Autophosphorylation of DNA PKCS appears to play a key role in and is thought to induce a conformational change that allows end processing enzymes to access the ends of the double strand break. After Ku70-80 and DNA PKCS bind to the DSB ends, they then serve as a scaffold to recruit the other factors to the damage site. With the help of the MRN complex consisting of NBS1, MRE11 and RAD50, the site of double strand breaks forms a cruciform and hairpin formation. The next step, if necessary, is processing of DNA ends to create ligatable ends. Different DNA end processing enzymes are required, including those that resect DNA ends, fill in gaps, remove blocking end groups, and make the ends ligatable. In the process, FEN1, PNKP and Artemis are recruited to the DSBs likely by a QXRCC4 scaffold. FEN1 can remove five overhanging flaps in DNA repair. PNKP is a polynucleotide kinase 3 phosphatase and it plays a role in repair of DNA strand breaks. With the help of these enzymes and factors, two terminals can be closed by these recruited factors. The final step in the repair of a DSP is ligation of the broken ends by DNA ligase 4, which has activity on its own. XRCC4 stabilizes ligase 4 which stimulates the ligation activity of ligase 4. In addition, XRCC4 stimulates the activity of ligase 4 by promoting the adenylation of DNA ligase 4. Little is known about the mechanisms which regulate the dissolution of the NG complex from the DSB ends. Recent research with human cells showed that E3 ubiquitin ligase RNF8 may mediate the dissociation of Ku from DNA ends. In addition, a solution structure of DNA PKCS obtained by small angle X-ray scattering SAXS, revealed that autophosphorylation of DNA PKCS induces a conformational change which likely releases DNA PKCS from DNA ends. In addition, NG repair also exists a pathway. Firstly, double stands break site can activate ATM pathway, and the pathway will activate MRN complex in PARP1. MRN complex will further enhance the conventional NG repair. Activated PARP1 will be recruited to the double strand break site. With the help of XRCC1 and DNA ligase 3, the break site is repaired. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, please load our website www.creativediagnostics.com